If you've ever watched a Formula One race, you've probably witnessed that dramatic moment when smoke billows from a tire as a car skids helplessly across the track. That, my friends, is a lockup, one of the most dramatic and costly mistakes in racing, and while it lasts only a few seconds, it can completely change the course of a race. But what exactly causes this heart-stopping phenomenon? Today, we're diving deep into the science behind lockups, why they happen, and how drivers recover from them. How do F1 brakes work? To understand lockups, we first need to know how F1 brakes work. When a driver hits the brake pedal, it activates a hydraulic system that clamps carbon brake pads onto carbon discs. These discs can reach temperatures of over 1,000 degrees Celsius. That's nearly 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Under normal braking, the wheel continues to rotate as the car slows down, but in a lockup, something different happens. The braking force becomes so great that the tire stops rotating completely while the car is still moving. Instead of rolling, the tire now skids across the track surface. But here's where it gets interesting. Lockups usually happen at the front wheels, and there's a good reason for this. When an F1 car brakes hard, the weight shifts forward, just like when you brake hard in your road car. This weight transfer puts even more pressure on the front tires, making them more susceptible to locking up. So what causes a driver to lock up? There are several triggers. Hitting the brakes too hard, braking while turning, which reduces tire grip, cold tires that don't have enough grip, wet or dirty track conditions, incorrect brake bias settings. Take Lewis Hamilton at the 2021 Azerbaijan Grand Prix. After a red flag restart, Hamilton had a massive lockup into turn one, sending him straight from first position to last. This happened because he accidentally hit the magic brake balance adjustment button, shifting brake bias heavily to the front and causing an immediate lockup. This single moment cost him a likely win and valuable championship points in his tight battle with Max Verstappen. Another example came from Valtteri Bottas at the 2021 Hungarian Grand Prix, where a major lockup into turn one in wet conditions caused him to slide into the back of Lando Norris, triggering a multi-car accident that took several drivers out of the race. The consequences of a lockup can be severe. Just a brief lockup can create a flat spot on the tire, causing vibrations that force an early pit stop and completely derail a race strategy. In more extreme cases, it can lead to a complete loss of control and potentially a crash. This is why F1 drivers spend countless hours practicing their brake control. They need to find that perfect threshold between maximum braking force and lockup. It's a delicate balance that can make the difference between winning and losing. Modern F1 cars have sophisticated brake-by-wire systems and adjustable brake bias, allowing drivers to fine-tune their braking balance between front and rear wheels. But even with all this technology, lockups still happen, proving just how close to the limit these drivers are pushing. So next time you see smoke pouring off a tire during a race, you'll know exactly what's happening and appreciate just how skillfully these drivers are managing their brakes on the very edge of control. Remember to like and subscribe for more F1 explainers and let us know in the comments which F1 topic you'd like us to break down next.